In today's video, let's discuss the key terms related to a ship's length that are essential in trim and stability calculations. Understanding these terms is critical for anyone working with a ship's stability, displacement, and trim. First, let's start with length overall, or LOA. This is the horizontal distance measured from the forwardmost part to the aftermost part of the ship. Although LOA is not directly used in trim calculations, it provides the ship's maximum length, which helps us understand the vessel's full scale. This measurement is essential when arriving at a harbor, as it determines the required maneuvering room and berth availability. Next, we have length between perpendiculars, or LBP. Before I explain LBP, let's first look at what we mean by the forward and aft perpendiculars. Forward perpendicular is the vertical line of reference that intersects on the summer load waterline at the forward edge of the stem when the ship is floating in an even keel. If this is the ship's summer load waterline, the line that separates the black and red sections of the hull, the point at the forward edge of the stem where it intersects with the summer load waterline, serves as the reference point for the forward perpendicular. Even keel means the ship's forward and aft drafts are the same, resulting in zero trim. After perpendicular is a vertical line of reference, typically located at the aft edge of the stern post. If there is no stern post, it is situated in the turning axis of the rudder. In this illustration, the after perpendicular is located in the turning axis of the rudder, so this line serves as the reference point for the after perpendicular. Now length between perpendiculars is the horizontal distance between the forward and after perpendiculars. LBP is the length used when calculating trim because it focuses on the part of the hull that interacts with the water, affecting draft, buoyancy, and stability. Amidships is the midpoint between the forward and after perpendiculars, which is half of length between perpendiculars. Along this point, it is often used as a reference for assessing longitudinal weight distributions and calculating trim moments around the centerline. Now, if this is the forward draft marks, and here is the after draft marks. The horizontal distance between the forward and aft draft marks is called length between draft marks, or LBD. This length is critical in trim calculations because it defines where we take draft measurements that indicate the forward and aft drafts. If the draft marks do not align exactly with the forward and aft perpendiculars, in this case, a draft correction should be determined to find the drafts along the forward and after perpendiculars. This correction ensures that the data reflects the actual length between the perpendiculars rather than the draft marks, giving a true trim value. I made a separate video that shows how to determine the P corrections and apply it to find the corrected drafts so that we can determine the true trim. If you want to see the full details of this video, Kindly visit the link in the description. That's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.